Konnichiwa. I'm Michael Shaw, owner of Jakarta CrossFit in Tokyo, Japan. And today we're going to tell you a little about our affiliate and how we got started. Come on inside. I grew up playing sports all my life and uh, was really fortunate uh, in middle school. Uh, I was in a club called Bigger, Faster and Stronger, uh, which I think uh, was kind of like the, the CrossFit before it was CrossFit. Uh, middle school and high school I played lacrosse and uh, in college I was really fortunate to play uh, Division I lacrosse for an 80. Uh, around September of 2009 uh, I was uh, finishing up my time in the Navy and uh, a friend of mine told me about CrossFit. About a week of just searching every article and reading everything about it uh, I was instantly hooked. At the time I was uh, on a Navy base but uh, knew I wanted to move to Tokyo and was looking for an affiliate. Uh, in Tokyo and just so happened uh, that there wasn't one. In November of that year I went and got my level one cert, applied for my affiliation uh, the day after that, or 1800th uh, affiliate uh, in the world, uh, the first one in Tokyo. Uh, I visited uh, CrossFit NYC, uh, one of my favorite boxes, CrossFit South Brooklyn and David there. I spent about a month helping to coach and observing at CrossFit BWI with Ryan and then uh, was really fortunate to get out to California and spend some time with Kelly Starrett and Carl Pauly uh, CrossFit San Francisco and then uh, headed down to CrossFit Invictus. After uh, th those four months kind of learning everything I could at the uh, boxes in the US I came in, uh, back to Tokyo to uh, get things started here. When I first started out uh, it was just me, a, a kettlebell and a uh, barbell that I could break into three pieces and put in my backpack uh, and a PVC pipe. And uh, with that, we just went to the park. I started out with just my uh, roommate and uh, one of my best friends and uh, started teaching them everything I knew about CrossFit. August of that year, we moved into a uh, dance studio. We had uh, three classes that we offered uh, in the mornings. After about a year and a half in the uh, dance studio, we uh, finally found our own place after about nine months of looking uh, in the location that we're in now. When we first started out, it was just a skeleton, uh, nothing but concrete walls and floor, and uh, kind of a blank canvas for me to uh, design. I had a few uh, really specific ideas of uh, things I wanted to include, you know, nutrition being kind of the foundation of, our, uh, of, of what we do, it kind of what's, what fuels the body so that we can uh, do the workouts and, and so I thought it was really important to include a kitchen. We've got a uh, stove top, an oven microwave, a refrigerator, sink uh, and a little uh, lounge area for people to hang out on and uh, eat their meals. In our old place we only had one shower and it was probably about a 45 minute wait by the time classes ended to the last person took their shower. So uh, in our new place now we got three showers and uh, seems to be uh, a help for all the people looking to get out of here to work on time. The other thing that uh, I really thought was important was uh, a, a nice comfortable lounge area uh, for the members to hang out in before and after class. Uh, you know, everyone talks about it in CrossFit, kind of that community building uh, part, that community supported atmosphere uh, is kind of what makes CrossFit what it is. And so uh, I really want to encourage people to come to class early, stay late, talk to other members, um, and uh, really take part uh, in the community rather than just coming in. Uh, for the designated classes. Uh, our total uh, gym area uh, is about 66 square meters, which is uh, just about 900 square feet of usable area for the gym. Uh, off to the side of our uh, main gym area, we have a uh, mobility area. I thought it would be really cool that we included some artificial turf uh, in the gym. Just kind of helps make the place a little bit more alive. Just gives people a different feel um, underneath their feet. Something I saw, I think, maybe in a Again Faster uh, video, something called Idea Paint. And uh, having bare concrete walls, we thought it was a uh, really good idea just to use that paint and uh, paint the whole wall uh, as a whiteboard. Besides me, uh, we have two other full-time coaches uh, on our staff. Uh, the first one I was really lucky uh, to find shortly after starting up uh, is Atoya. He came to us, recommendation from uh, Carl in uh, CrossFit San Francisco brought a lot of knowledge um, to us. Also was originally from Japan, so uh, really helped us get the training going in Japanese. 
Our other coach is uh, Tina. Uh, she is one of our first clients here. Uh, I really believed in hiring uh, all of our coaches from within. Uh, first, they have to be uh, part of our community before uh, they can be coaches. She was in the first on-ramp class that we had. You can just tell when someone's in class and uh, they have that uh, potential to be a coach. They move really well, they take notes during class, uh, they listen to everything you say and uh, are, are non-stop about uh, asking you questions about it. Thanks for coming to Chicago CrossFit. If you're ever in Tokyo, feel free to drop in.